There could be new charges coming from the war crimes trial of Eddie Gallagher, but not against him. Instead, prosecutors could be working up perjury charges against the Navy SEAL who testified that he was the one who ultimately killed an ISIS prisoner of war. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz explains why the defense says that's not in the prosecution's best interest. The defense says they know they're going to come out on top here for the first time today. They were able to call witnesses to take the stand. And if those perjury charges are filed, they tell me that would be a bad idea. So if they if they charge Corey Scott, it's pure retaliation. Defense attorney Tim Palatore responding to possible perjury charges against Navy SEAL Corey Scott. Last week, Scott testified to killing the ISIS prisoner himself not Eddie Gallagher, who stands accused of murder. If the Navy tried charging Corey Scott with perjury, that would that would probably be the only thing more stupid that a prosecutor could do than to try and bring a murder case based on this evidence. Palatori says the case would never hold up in court. What are they going to do? Bring in his earlier statements where there were still issues of immunity, where they were threatening him. If you don't stay consistent with what you told NCIS, you're going to jail. Meanwhile, the trial continued for Gallagher today. The defense getting their chance to call on witnesses for the first time. Palatori says the whole thing stems from unfounded claims. You have the witness that doesn't have a motivation to lie, and you have the witness who is admittedly part of this small group of conspirators who's trying to get rid of Eddie Gallagher. They see things the way they want to see them. Gallagher is also accused of shooting unarmed civilians during deployment in Iraq. The defense is still confident they'll win the case. That trial is set to continue here tomorrow morning. Jennifer De La Cruz, 10 News.